Hello everyone, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about DDD assert assertions in Cypress. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we covered the BD style assertion and BD includes should and expect. So in this particular tutorial, we will cover the TD style, which is test driven development style of assertions. And here we will be covering the assert. So we have already covered a lot about the assertion itself. So we will directly dive into the code here. Let me create a file here and let me name it as td.js. So what I'll do is that I will copy this line from here and paste it here. Now what I'll do is that I will create a describe here, describe and let me name it as validate complex data using assert okay and we know that we need to use a callback function here and this would be the body of callback function so usually what we do is that we visit the website first and let me provide the details here and let me type it simple google.com and now we will be doing assert type of assertions so let's start with very basic here and let's start asserting the strings okay so for that what i'll do is that let me create one variable called first let me create first name and first name is equals to testing finder okay now we suppose that we are getting this data from the application and now we need to assert this string using the td style so in td style we are using assert so the simple is that let's start with the very basic right so first assert the string with the string and simple assert dot equal and we need to provide the variable name here okay and comma and then we need to provide the string against which we need to compare it and that's it so let me um, open the cypress test runner and let's run this one and see what happens so basically what we are doing is that we are comparing text with the text here so here let me go to this td.js and let me run this one and see what happens so cannot call the cy dot visit and uh, we are getting some kind of uh, error here so let me go back to the registry code here and it should visit right so let me save it again and run it again no commands were issued in the test right so it says we need to create a it block here basically that's why and simply what i'll do is that i will create it block and inside the it block what i'll do is that I will use these commands here so asset and then again callback function and the body of this test here so let me copy this whole letter from here and paste it here now save this one and see what happens so you see that it is traversing to this google.com and it is also asserting that this testing funder is equal to this testing funder. Now, let me go back here and change the value here and see this time it will fail because we are expecting this equal to this, right? Now, let me go back here and save it here. So this is the first kind of assertion you can apply on any string. The second thing is that um, we can also assert using the text which is part of this complete string so that can be done using the include here 
so assert dot include and again uh, we need to provide this variable name here and and here if i provide only testing it should pass so let me save this one and see yes it passed because testing is a part of this whole string which is testing funda okay now what else we can do we can also assert that this data is basically a string so how we can assert that this is really simple assert dot type of and inside the type of again we need to provide the variable and comma and we need to tell this that this is a string okay and save this one and you will see expected testing for to be a, a string so that's how you can apply different kind of assertions you can also do the negate or the negative assertion over here simply assert dot not type of and you see there are so many with the not as well right so not type of first name and let me say it integer save it and see so again because this assertion passed because this testing funda is a string and not to be a integer here this symbol now these are the basic assertions now let's try to assert the objects asserting objects that's so let me create a very simple object here let person is equals to right uh, let me create a person so first name colon the first name is testing and then we have last name and the last name is fun right and here this object is closed now we need to assert the object so assessing object is very easy so what we can assert in the object so the first thing we can assert is that this object contains this last name property okay so this is the first test we need to do so assert dot property and here we need to pass the name of the object and then which property we are looking for in the object and this is the property we are looking for in the object so let me save this one and see what happens so yes this object contains this property which is last name then um, what we can do is that we can assert that this let person is actually object so we can also do that simply assert dot is object and simply we need to provide the name of this object here and that's it simply run this one and see what happens so yes this is supposed to be an object and yes it is an object here now what else we can do we can assert that this object contains the property which is last name and last name has a value of fender right so this is what we need to assert so assert dot deep property value the property well which is value and again here we need to provide the name of the object against which we are comparing and then we have last name and colon 
and we need to provide the name of the property so actually we need to provide this one into quotes as well so let me provide those into the quotes simple quotes this is the last name then comma then this is the right way so let me save this one and see yes it has deeply equal to the property last name of funda now what else we can do on this object we can actually compare the whole object as well so simply assert dot deep equal and inside the deep equal we need to provide this person and comma and now what we need to provide is that we need to provide a complete object here which starts from this bracket to this bracket right so let me copy this one and let me paste it here let me copy it again and paste it here why it's not pasting here so let me copy it again it's not copying somehow so let me copy this one and now paste it here and yes save this one and see yes our test case is passed because both objects are equal in nature and properties with the values so this is the basic assertions we have done on the object now let's do some assertion on arrays asserting arrays and let me create let employ ids is equals to let me give very simple one comma two comma three comma four comma five so simple very basic array and now let's assert okay so first thing we can assert is that either this is array or not so simply assert dot is array and inside this one we need to provide the name of the array and that's it same this one and let's see yes I expected this to be an array and yes it's array that's why test case got passed now what we can do is that we can assert that this array includes two and three value so i would can do this simply assert dot include deep members and those members belongs to this array right now we need to provide the values so basically we are setting this array has these values simply so save this one and let's see yes expected this to have a superset of this and yes that's why test case is passed now go back here and here let me put one more assertion and here what we can do is that we can check the order of these ids as well so there are so many sessions we are doing some common sessions here which will be helpful while you're automating the application so deep ordered members right and simply we need to provide the name of the array here and now what i need to do is that we need to provide the array so let me copy whole data from here and paste it here and contains five as well save this one and see what happens yes so the order is same here that's why test case got passed now let me change the order here and see what happens here save this one and see what happens so now this test case got failed because order is different in both the cases right 
Now what else we can do? Simply just like we use this assert dot is array to check either this employee IDs is basically array or not. We can also do this assertion in other way as well. Simply assert dot type of and type of this should be array. That's it. Now save this one and see what happens. So actually this got failed. That's why it didn't proceed it to the last one. Let me correct this one here and save this one. And now see, yes, it got passed. Everything is passed now. One, two, three, four, five to be an array. So that's all about the assert and you can explore there are so many assertions available like if i go here and type assert dot then you can see there are a lot of things available uh, deep equal include contain all the keys nested include so there are a lot of things you can explore from here and assert your data whatever you want to assert it. thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial